All right, we're walking to our kayak location. Uh, don't ask me to say the name of the bay, but we're actually, I, uh, they call this the Captain Cook area. Uh, but we're walking there. We've already we seen the bay. spot. We parked our car where we have to walk there down a little ways. And we we're ready to try out this adventure. So hopefully we'll get some good pictures on this device underwater and all that. So um, looking forward to it. Should be fun. Yep. Hello and welcome to kayaking in Hawaii. Uh, we're uh, in the Captain Cook Bay. Um, it's like a, a, a Komakaya Lake San Bay or something like that. I'll say it right later. Uh, <laughs> but it is uh, absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, it's uh, uh, just a beautiful day for snorkeling and kayaking. I'm hoping to see some dolphins and some, maybe some turtles. Yep, and um, they said that there's dolphins in the bay, so we're going to look for them. Stay tuned.
Over the past 10 years, Kilauea Volcano has erupted in two places, the summit and Pu'u'o'o. On April 17, 2018, USGS scientists observed increased pressure of the magma system beneath Pu'u'o'o. This caused the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o to rise. Kilauea's summit also went through a period of increased inflation. On April 26, the lava lake overflowed onto Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater floor at the summit. On April 30th, the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o collapsed. Two days after the collapse of Pu'u'o'o, the summit lava lake began to drop. After the collapse of Pu'u'o'o, USGS scientists detected a series of earthquakes moving east, signaling an intrusion of magma along the middle and lower east rift zone. The first fissure opened along the lower east rift zone in a residential subdivision called Lalani Estates. Between May 3rd and May 6th, 10 fissures opened in the lower east rift zone. By May 15th, the number of fissures increased to 20. On May 19th, lava flow fronts formed and moved towards the ocean to the southeast. On May 29th, vigorous lava flows from Fisher 8 began to move northeast towards Kapoho Bay. As the summit subsided and adjusted to withdrawal of magma, powerful earthquakes and ash explosions grew more frequent. The largest earthquake was magnitude 6.9 on May 4th at 1232 p.m. The largest ash plume rose 30,000 feet above sea level on May 17th at 417 a.m. Between May 5th and June 6th, the Overlook Crater expanded from approximately 12 acres to over 90 acres. The eruption events shown in this video continue to change the landscape of Hawaii.
someone was smart and tied little pink ribbons to mark the path. Which helps people out like us who don't know where we're going. And they say that without the markings you could probably get lost because there's other trails that go elsewhere. So we must make it to the pink ribbon over there. Across these wet rocks. Those are wet too. Yeah. Are you gonna video the, the fall? The fall and rise of Perry Love. Yeah, and put it on America's Funniest Videos. It won't be very funny if I you won't, But you won't watch it because you don't watch it. Alright, here we go. Good job, keep coming. All right. I did it. And there's our pink ribbon. Pink ribbon. <laughs> step lock step, or step rock step. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, climbing, climbing.
We were walking hand in hand on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. We were playing in the sun. We were having so much fun on a white sandy beach of Hawaii. Sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. Sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. Those hot, long summer days, lying there in the sun. On a white sandy beach of Hawaii, the sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. The sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. 